Hi, my name is James Shepard, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to integrate payment processing using an API if you're looking to do payment processing through your software solution. So I'm in the middle of a mini series of videos here on how to monetize payments as a software company. In the last video, we talked about why every software company should monetize payments. And before that, we were talking about what is payment processing and how it works. In this video, it's time to transition to be a little bit more practical in terms of how do you actually do the payment processing integration. I wanna talk about two things here that are very different. And a lot of software companies, this is like one of the big missing components is that they don't understand the difference between these two things. And we've split these two things up in, into two different videos. So this first video is talking about building into an API to be able to process a payment. Now. This is actually uh, really well understood. In fact, if you're a developer watching this, you're probably yawning right now thinking like, why are you even gonna show me this? I promise there are some very interesting things you're gonna wanna see from how we did our integration specifically as payments experts. But at the end of the day, this is a pretty simple concept. It's the idea of we gotta be able to accept cardholder information securely, we gotta be able to store it securely, and then we have to be able to hit that API whenever we wanna run a payment or run a refund or something like that. And so technically, it's a very simple topic. There's really not a lot to it. Um, remember what I talked about in the last video that if you're gonna do it though, you might as well do it with a company that's gonna give you some money, right, um, in the process of doing so. However, the second thing, which we're gonna cover in the next video, is the actual boarding API. This is actually the missing link for most software companies when they're going to try to monetize payments. They don't understand this part. It's of course easy or it's, you know, it's, it's trivial to, you know, create the payments integration itself. There's a lot of questions that go into how do you want people to pay and what does the UI look like and what are they paying for and how does the invoicing work and you know what I mean? All of that. But as far as like connecting the dots between your software and a, a, you know, an API, that's not a big deal if you're trying to process payments. But here's what's important. When you're trying to sign up your merchants, your clients, to be able to accept payments, right? That's where things get tricky. And what I talk to a lot of software companies, what they're currently doing is they have this partnership with this other payment processing company. And they use the APIs provided by this other payment processing company, probably through a third-party gateway. And they're using that information to integrate into their software, which works okay, maybe it's not a super smooth integration, but it works okay. But the problem is that when one of their customers reaches out and says, oh, I see you have payments in there. I would like to accept payments. You as a software company have to say, okay, sure. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna send an email over to Susan at XYZ Processing Company, and then she can set you up with your payment processing account. Then your client talks to Susie, and then Susie sends her a 17-page DocuSign agreement, which your client may or may not actually fill out, and then after they fill it out, they wait for three days to get the underwriting approved, and you know, it's this big mess, right? And then you gotta get the, the VAR sheet from the gateway, and it's just this huge thing, okay? That's, that's old, that's legacy. Don't do that anymore. There's no reason for that, okay? There are boarding APIs where you're gonna be able to get people to sign up by doing a single page app on your website and have them pretty much instantly approved the way it works when you work through Stripe or somebody else. So a lot of people are confused. A lot of software companies think, well, I can't monetize payments because in order to make money on payments, I gotta work through one of these legacy nasty APIs in order to get 20% of the profit and you know, I gotta, and then my customers have to fill this out. I like the smooth experience of Stripe. Well, the good news is you can now have the smooth experience of Stripe and make money on the payments. 